you are watching Redicon. Welcome to Chapter 1 of Radiation Protection Officer Course. This chapter is divided into five parts. We will discuss basic physics and mathematics with few standard units used for radiation calculations. Number two, an introduction to radiation and their different types based on nature and effects. From open debate of radiation on the Earth, we will narrow down to ionizing radiation, discussing different sources of radiation on Earth and variable affecting these. At number four, we will discuss awareness of radiation risk, which naturally debates the need for radiation protection. And last, we will see medical use of radiation and foundations of radiation protection in medical imaging, in particular radiography, fluoroscopy, and CT. These are few of the base units used in basic physics and mathematics for radiation calculations length as meter, mass as kilogram, time in seconds, electrical current as amperes, temperature as Kelvin, amount of charge as coulomb, and finally energy is measured in joules. Radiation or more specifically called electromagnetic radiation are divided into two main types, non-ionizing and ionizing radiation. Can you think of an example of non-ionizing radiation? Which type of radiation around us are non-ionizing type? Okay, let me tell you. These are visible light, infrared, radio waves, Wi-Fi. These are all examples of non-ionizing radiation. To get an idea of electromagnetic radiation, it is best to see its universal spectrum, which is based on their wavelength, frequency, and effects. It is possibly the best and most informative illustration on EMR spectrum. You can see visible light as a rainbow close to midline. As we start from left side of the spectrum, we have extreme low frequency radiation which are non-ionizing. Moving towards mid and then on to right side, this changes soon after visible light and we get high frequency radiation with ionizing effects. Let's review the effects. The extreme left side low frequency radiation have no real effect on matter. As we move towards higher frequency ranges, we see radio waves and then microwaves which have mild thermal effects. These can be used beneficially in radio, microwaves, and Wi-Fi. As we move towards higher frequency, meaning towards the right side, we encounter more impact on matter. We find infrared waves, and soon after the optical range of light, there are UV. It is worth noting that tanning booths are very close to UV range and hence these are considered very dangerous radiation exposure. Further to the right side of the light, there are X-rays which are used in medical imaging. At the end of known EMR spectrum, there are powerful gamma rays with strongest ionizing radiation effect which can break bonds and even cause DNA damage. This illustration shows varying ability of different types of radiation to pass through materials. From least to most penetrating, there are alpha rays, beta radiation, neutrons, and finally gamma rays, 